curly Chris. Welcome back to your girls channel for another video. Hey, hey. I'm so happy to have you here with me. In today's video, we're going to be reviewing the Coco Black Naturals Curling Custard once again on these curls because last time we reviewed them, we absolutely loved the definition that it gave our curls. However, there was some black flakes that we did get and the hold was pretty strong, so we wanted to try to eliminate some of that hold as well. So in today's video, we're going to be putting a little bit of tweaks here and there to try to perfect this wash and go using this custard. So before I go ahead and get into those details, if you are not already part of the Curly Chris fam, I'm going to need for you to do one thing for your girl. And now smash that button down below. Smash that button down below. Hey, like you mean it. Join the Curly Chris fam because we are on the road to 60k. Okay, so go ahead and join the family. We would love to have you here. Now let's go ahead and get into this review and demo. Now, last time I used this gel, we loved it. I loved it. I was very much so shocked because y'all know I don't be doing wash and goes like that. But this one really did take me by surprise. Oh, I can smell it already. Oh my god! It's most definitely a strong smell. Oh Jesus, the smell is like, if you're not expecting it, it will knock you out. Not out, wow, but it will like, boom, in your face. Um, but it's not a bad smell or anything, it's just pretty strong. So, what I'm gonna be doing different with this review is I'm going to be adding a thick cream slash butter in the mix, one that is not butter-based but water-based in order to help alleviate, well, hopes of alleviating that crunch that we got and also hoping that it will help with the flakes that we got. Not really sure how the flakes and the butter will really help that, but I'm just hoping that it won't flake as much. And maybe I'll also try to use a little bit less product and maybe that'll help. So the butter slash cream I'm gonna be implementing is the Camille Rose Almond Dye Twisting Butter. This one is most definitely a cream, as in it's water-based, like it's very, very thick, very, very moisturizing. So I feel like this would be perfect to add right before we um, apply that custard on top to give us like the to, to give us the moisture component of the wash and go hoping to alleviate that crunch you feel me hopefully you catch my drift okay now already in the shower i applied my leave-in conditioner and that is the salon selectives yes yes the dollar tree leave-in conditioner one dollar okay the instant repair leave-in conditioner brazilian keratin oil which smells so doggone good and i have to give a shout out to a family member who shipped me a box of six of these sis sent me six of these because i told y'all i couldn't find them no more she sent me six so shout out to you i love you guys like mm. so i've already applied that in my hair and it's super juicy and just, y'all, look at the curls. Mm, love it. So next thing we're going to do is apply the Almond Dry Butter. And then I'm going to seal the moisture in with oil. And I'm just going to be using regular Degler olive oil. And then lastly, we're going to be putting on the custard. Hopefully all of this mixes well together because I have not tested it out. I know I probably should have, but I didn't. Um, so let's just hope for the best and get it started. But in all honesty, y'all, like I really did enjoy how like the results from this um, wash and go aside from the flakes. Like if those flakes could just get go away, I would really like this for a wash and go. All right, so then we're gonna go in with some of the butter. Okay, so that's blending well and looking really good and feeling great. So, so far, so safe. <laughs> okay, okay. Now I'm going to just seal that in with a little bit of olive oil. And I literally just have my, I'm, wow, this is, this is huge. <laughs> From my kitchen, just my huge thing of olive oil. I'm going to wipe it off after I'm finished, y'all. Don't worry. And then put a little bit of this on there to lock in the moisture from the leave-in and the cream mm, mm, mm. perfect and now start the show the gel 
And also, I didn't give you guys a background in case you're new here on this gel. So this is Coco Black from Ghana. Um, it's a Ghanaian business and they sent me this gel uh, once I had like DM them because I couldn't, it was just kind of complicated to place an order. So I DM them um, and they, they just sent it to me for free and I decided to do a review on it and I really did like this gel a lot. Um, and so did the fam, aka my subscribers. So when I had when I had used it the last time, we got a little bit of flakes, um, which was kind of sad. But we still did love the gel, I mean the custard, because it was so good. And it's from Ghana, so it's like really, really unique. So that's why I'm really trying to find a combo or just something that would not give us those flakes, but we still get that definition that we got because definition was popping. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and just shingle. But honestly, nothing flaked so far, y'all. The whole, like everything blended well together. The definition, of course, is good. I did not apply a whole lot of the gel this time. Um, I was kind of careful with the amount that I applied. So hopefully that counts for something in the results. And hopefully we do not get a lot of flakes. So that little section is done. Looking real good. And as far as the transfer on this, um, when it's wet, it does transfer a little bit of black, but once it dries, I didn't get any transfer aside from the flakes, which were oddly black, like the flakes are black. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna go in and just get some definition with the brush. Y'all, my curls feel so good with that leave-in. I'm gonna go in with the twisting butter from Moisture. Get that moisture up on that neck, girl. <gasps> oh my gosh. I just dropped the whole container of oil on the ground. Oh my gosh. The oil took a tumble. <laughs> oh my God. The only reason why I'm laughing is because it was so like, I saw it coming. Like as soon as I felt the slip out of my fingers, I said, it's going on the ground. <laughs> I couldn't even catch it. I couldn't even, I couldn't even grip. My hands are so slippery. So I've applied everything to this section. Wow! Looks bomb. And then we're just gonna go in and shingle. And also, I'm honestly willing to sacrifice some of the definition I got last time for more moisture and less crunchiness by applying this um, twisting butter. Like I would not be upset if my hair was not as defined as last time. Because ultimately, I don't want hard hair. I don't want something that's super crunchy. I want something that has a nice balance. So if that's what this gives me, then I'm all for it. Once again, with the butter. So I'm gonna just go ahead and do those exact same steps on these last two sections. And we are gonna see what this whole section's looking like. And then I'm gonna check on my carpet. <laughs> finish an entire section. This is what it looks like. It feels really, really good, actually. The definition also looks like it's going to be more of like a moisturized finish versus a fully defined, crunchy finish, which I actually am a big fan of. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish dressing my head. And we're gonna come back and talk about the wet results. All right, fam, so the whole head is finished. And y'all, whew, I am tired. It actually did not take that long though, so that's a good thing. The curls look really, really good, especially on this side. Like, come on, definition, moisture, okay? 
Like, I think the curls look really, really good. Like, the definition seems like it's going to be popping and hopefully moisturize results. So I'm gonna go ahead and let this dry. I may even get underneath my hooded dryer. I don't know. I'm gonna decide what I'm gonna do and I'm gonna tell y'all once it's done. <laughs> but I'm gonna go ahead and let this dry and I'm gonna come back once it is finished drying and let's hope for the best y'all because sis. So here's what the back looks like. But the curls do look really, really nice y'all. I ain't gonna tell you no tail. Like the definition looks really, really good along the entire strand, especially the ends. The front of my hair is most definitely still acting up like it always does, okay? Except for with that Eco Slate. That Eco Slate got it together. But that's this is where we're at right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and let this dry and I'm gonna come back. Once it's dry, we're gonna talk a little bit more. So the hair is finally dry and it's honestly about two days later. Um, because about the first day later, my hair was dry, but I was like, I just want to make sure that the roots are dry and everything. So we are completely dry now. And y'all, y'all, I think I have figured it out. When I tell y'all my hair is not crunchy at all, my hair feels so like soft to touch. It does have like a little bit of a hold feeling, but it's no type of crunch. And you guys know when I did the, when I used this gel the first time, my hair was actually like hard as a brick. Like y'all, my hair was the same exact feeling as like a wall. It was super, super hard and just like clumped together. And like I said, the definition was really good. But the amount of hold and crunch my hair had, I was not feeling at all. So go back and watch that video so you can like see what I'm talking about if you have not if you have not already seen it. This is it, y'all. I'm telling you, like I can't believe I didn't figure this out. And what I really know helped the most is implementing that moisturizing cream before I applied that gel. So I gave my hair moisture and then I sealed that moisture in and then I applied the custard on top of that. And like the definition still looks good. It feels good. Like my hair feels amazing. It still has a hold. Like you guys can just see how, oh wait, let me put some oil on my hands. And also my background is under construction, so ignore that. <laughs> but let me take this jewelry off. All right, so I'm putting a little bit of the oil on my hands, so I'm touching my hair now. But guys, look at the definition like up in, in here. Like this definition though, looks so good. Look at that. Looks so bomb and feels really, really good. And whenever I, um manipulate my hair, I also don't have any flakes. Like the flakes have also disappeared, which is crazy because I'm like, did the cream and oil help that as well? Like how, like the flakes are gone. There's no, absolutely no flakes in my hair whatsoever right now. And you guys know from the last video, around this point in the video, I, the shirt was covered in black flakes. Like I have flakes everywhere, right? And there's absolutely no flakes either. Now, whenever I scratch my scalp for a little while, I do get um, some black stuff like underneath my nails. Um, but that's just because the product is on my scalp. But y'all, so now we're gonna go ahead and stretch my hair. I added this just to make it a little bit cuter while I was wearing it flat. But um. Okay, so now we can get into, this is what it really looks like right here. And then this side. In the front of my hair, uh, it's just so rebellious. Like the front of my hair does not look as good as the rest. <sighs> Y'all know how I feel about that. So now I'm trying to figure out which method am I going to use to stretch it. I can use the blow dryer or I can band it. I don't really want to band it since I've already had this style for two days I just want to get this result right now so it seems like I'm going to go in with um, my blow dryer and just stretch it at the roots so I'm going to put it on a warm setting and on high um, speed and let's go ahead and stretch just from stretching y'all can see clearly the big difference right like come on do y'all see the stretching? And then I'm gonna go in and pick as well. And once you stretch your um, curls, you'll be able to pick more because whenever you have curls like this, 
you can't pick like you want to be picking. Like stretching out at the root um, because it's not stretched out yet. So once you stretch that hair on out, sis, or bro, you're going to be able to pick and everything. So I'm going to do this side and mirror back. Fam, fam, fam. Do we see the results? Y'all, this looks really, really, really good. The definition, the volume that I got, the length. One thing I'm starting to notice with washing goes is that I'm able to get more length immediately versus my twist out, which I really do like. However, I know like I don't like to use heat in order to get this length, so I'm not a big person on putting heat on my hair especially direct heat like what I just now did but I know it doesn't like damage it how often I do it or I'm, I'm pretty sure you know like it wouldn't really damage your hair to stretch your hair or whatever but I really do love how voluminous my hair can get and how big I can get it like with just minimal effort like I'm looking at myself in the mirror and I absolutely love how my hair looks and this custard that I use honestly I feel like really did a great job with the way i layered all the products on like i would most now i'm most definitely going to be using this more often because i the reason why i was really hesitant at first with using it was because of the crunch that i got even though my curls really did look good after i stretched that one as well but now my curls are much more moisturized and it's a wash and go so i don't have to worry about having that crunchy hard feeling that i absolutely hate and i'm pretty sure a lot of you guys hate that feeling as well so this would be great to implement so you can get a better result a more soft result with your wash and go and still not have to sacrifice that definition so we all need that um one thing i also do want to notice is that i actually do have some black flakes on my shirt it's not as many as i had last time um but i do still have the black flakes so i did want to make note of that with you guys i didn't want you guys to get the wrong impression of this um and assume that i didn't have any flakes because i do have some but it's not as many as last time so this overall y'all is a winner like I freaking love everything about it. I feel like the definition is popping. Everything I already talked about, like I'm really happy that I gave us another shot with this lineup of products. So let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about this entire video and a little technique that I implemented. So thank you guys so much for tuning in to your girls did. I appreciate you, I love you as always, and I'm gonna see you guys in my next video. Yo! Peace!